welcome to a chit chatty catch up Q&A video today. After a few weeks of cruise content and being on the trip, I thought it'd be really nice to come back with this video. And so many of you asked me some great questions on Instagram, so I've screenshotted some. We have a nice mix of travel and wedding, health and well-being and lifestyle sort of questions and work things. And we're gonna finish with some favorites. So if you are new and you found me recently, then hi, I'm Brogan. I make home lifestyle and travel vlogs and today's video is also very kindly sponsored by Casetify, my lovely new phone case that I'm going to talk to you a little bit about in a minute. But for now, I thought we'd kickstart with some of the first questions which are sort of general about me, Benj and Bonnie. And then we'll go into some like health and fitness ones as well. But grab your drink of choice. I've got a Pepsi Max, a nice cold one because it's actually a really warm day in this little cup. So let's do the Q&A. The first question I thought was really nice said, how have you been doing recently? P.S. My mum and I love your vlogs. Thank you so much. I have been doing really good, thank you. I feel like every day comes with a new set of challenges and this job is so unpredictable sometimes that I am all over the place. I'm very, very busy in July, which I'm not mad at. I'm really excited and happy to have things in my diary. I've been doing lots of girl guiding stuff. A lot of you know that I'm an ambassador for Girl Guiding Southwest of England, so I've been doing some things with them and I am just about to wrap up for the summer. We only do our rainbows meetings during the term time, so not in the school holidays. So that's been really lovely. And then obviously traveling, being on the cruise was so amazing. My friends and family all well. I've just had two friends both have babies within two weeks of each other, which is amazing. So newborn babies around and we've just had one of Benji's best friends announce that they're expecting a baby too. So lots of like love and you know, new life and good vibes and everything is going well and I'm personally feeling good. So I don't typically film these videos when I'm not feeling good. So maybe ask me again on a different day, I might give you a different answer, but today I'm feeling good. Thank you for asking. How's Benji doing now? I thought this was another good one to start off with because some of you may know, if you don't, Benji recently had open heart surgery. Long story short, they found a tumor in his heart a year ago. They spent a whole year investigating it. They basically decided that surgery was the best route. They removed it completely and Benji no longer has a heart condition. He is all good and he's just in the recovery period still. So he's just passed his, I think we're on week 14 now and he's been doing a lot of swimming and getting his fitness levels up, building up his muscle again. He's just like easing himself back into things and I'm really, really proud of him. He's doing amazing. How is Bonnie? How old is she now? Would you ever get another pet? Bonnie is doing so well. She just turned 12 last month. Month. So 12 years old, which honestly, I still don't believe she's actually 12 sometimes. She went for her annual vaccinations and a checkup. We did a blood test just to see how everything was doing for her inside. And it all came back clear. The vet was so happy. She said that Bonnie has made amazing progress. She's looking super healthy. Her coat is really shiny. I actually switched her food recently because she was being a bit fussy. So I switched her to Butternut Box, which I've heard loads about. And I'm really happy. She's really happy. She's the most loving, caring, loyal, soul and my bestest friend apart from Benj. <laughs> I am so lucky to have such a good dog. She doesn't cause us any problems. And in answer to your other question, will we get another pet? No, Bonnie is a very happy solo dog. We've known that since we got her. She does like other dogs and she stayed with other dogs. Like Benji's mum has two spaniels as well. She much prefers being the centre of attention. She likes it all about her. She's used to being the only dog in the house and we've looked at rehoming other dogs. I'd love to have two or three others but because of our travels it isn't fair to introduce more dogs and then that's more for my mum or another family member to have to look after. We're very lucky that my mum is amazing and has a really great bond with Bonnie and I wouldn't want to add another dog in the mix to her <laughs> or for her shall I say. It is so hot today that I'm having to <laughs> interject in the middle of the video with <laughs> little fan. Before we move on to the sort of health and fitness and well-being questions, I want to say a big thank you to Casetify. As I said, they have very kindly sponsored this video today and I have heard so many good things about them. So when they reached out, I was so excited because I recently upgraded to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, as some of you know. Basically wanted some more cases that are nicely designed and are going to protect my phone. I mean, who doesn't want a cute phone case? They are the world's most popular tech accessory brand and they've basically 
basically got this huge range on offer. You'll have a filled day looking through their website. On first impressions, they are definitely on the higher end price wise, but they feel incredible quality. And I knew I could trust them with protecting my new phone as they have these raised bezels for screen and camera protection. And their ultra impact cases actually have been drop tested up to 11.5 foot. So for the designs, I picked out this selection and I basically have this purple disco ball one on right now, which is so cute. I love it. And I love that they're made from upcycled phone cases that are turned into their re pellets, meaning that they're made better and designed to last. It actually says this case is made from recycled phone cases on the side. And because I use my phone every single day as an essential tool in both my personal and work life, it's extremely important that I have a protective case, but you know, I want it to look cute. <laughs> so overall, I am so impressed with the quality and the variety, and I'm really looking forward to switching up my case this summer. If you'd like to get your hands on a new Case to Fight phone case, go to casetofy.com forward slash Brogan Tate underscore UK to get 15% off. I'll have all the details below for you, but big thank you to Case Five for sponsoring. I'm really happy and yeah, I absolutely love it. Body confidence update as you touched on this briefly lately. This is a good question. I don't really have much of an update. I think a lot of my body confidence or lack of has been around the wedding dress and I've picked this dress and I need it to fit and it's a zip. I'm not feeling pressured to lose weight for our wedding day. It's more that I want to fit in my beautiful dress and I am aware that I can go up if I need to and down in terms of they can take it in and take it out but I just feel the pressure to feel my best version of myself on the day and I don't think I felt that for a long time. I think it's been quite a few years since I felt like amazing in my body. I have changed a lot in the last 10 years not just like physically you know mentally I've changed a lot my diet my relationship with food and exercise what I like what I don't like being in my swimming cozy on holiday and you know just not caring about that kind of thing wearing gorgeous dresses for like black tie uh, I think I can there are highs and lows days where I'm like yeah I really like myself and then the other days where I just want to be in a hoodie and leggings I've still got a lot of work to do so I thought this was a nice question to lead on to it said are you still doing couch to 5k how it going no <laughs> and you know what the minute I shared it in the vlog I was like I know I'm not going to commit to this and if I do it'll be a miracle and I actually was doing really well I got to week four I was on like run two or three but then I got a really bad stitch and then after that I said to Ben do you know what now I haven't been running for a few weeks because I couldn't I don't really care I don't really know why I'm doing couch to 5k is it for my mental health is it for my body I don't really love running I just decided couch 5k is always going to be there if I want it I've got a really nice app but I've gone down the route of revisiting personal training I figured that one of my biggest issues is I go into the gym and I don't know what to do and I need someone to hold my hand and create a plan for me because I don't have the mental time space energy to think about my workouts I just need someone to help me I thought that personal training is the only thing that I've previously really loved and found joy in and I think strength training weight training and just doing some stuff that I'm excited about will be really good for me I also just want to have like a time and day and be held accountable and do workouts that I genuinely enjoy enjoy because I think personal training is something that really works for me and I know that I'm really lucky because training like that is expensive but I have just met my new PT because my old one is sadly not available so I've met this new PT he seems really nice and already I'm really excited about what we're going to get started on so my first PT session is tomorrow so as I'm filming so I would have already done probably two sessions by the time you see this video actually let's hope that that works out and if I want to dip into a bit of running in between that and swimming and walking Bonnie and stuff then I can what is your favorite pin probably an impossible choice if you don't know I collect pin badges I talk about it a lot because it's such a joyful thing in my life my favorite pin is really easy for me it is this one it is a Tarzan pin that says you'll be in my heart it was bought to me by Benj super early on in our relationship and it was the most thoughtful kind gift Benj and I really don't do gifts now we love experiences over physical things but this is one of those gifts that I will cherish forever it actually used to have a musical box on the back of it so it used to play a song 
long but Benji bought it second hand I think it was off eBay and You'll Be In My Heart is one of our songs that we just connect to so deeply and love when he gave this pin to me I absolutely loved it it was the nicest surprise a simple thoughtful wonderful thing so I actually removed the musical thing off the back and it's been on the board at the top ever since next to a couple that are also related to Benj he's bought me a few over the years so yeah really sweet what are the best gifts to buy a close friend what are some of the best gifts you have received I thought this was quite a nice question because everyone obviously likes different things I like to do things like a little pamper set so I'll do like a little makeup bag with face mask hair mask or nail varnish or some chocolates and like a little gift bag I like candles giving and receiving um, I actually got given a theatre voucher a theatre token from Benji's family for my birthday this year which was an amazing gift I love vouchers I know that vouchers are kind of seen as like an easy or like not as personal gift but for me the gift of giving me theatre tokens I could spend on a theatre show of my choice was absolutely amazing so we've booked to see Mrs Doubtfire coming up in a couple of weeks so we'll definitely share our review of that but I like a Costa coffee or a Starbucks voucher anything that's personal some of my friends that love books love being gifted a book which is such a nice thing especially if they've got an Amazon wish list I'll always ask my friends that are readers are there any books on your wish list so that's a really nice gift I have a friend called Shannon that bought me a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick about a year or so ago and it's like the one and only lipstick I love and use and that was a really nice gift because I wouldn't necessarily go and buy myself Charlotte Tilbury makeup but now I have it and love it I'm like oh yeah maybe I need to do this more but that was a really nice gift too absolutely loving your cruise vlogs would love to know which P&O ship is your favorite this is really hard for me to answer because out of the ones I've been on Britannia, Arvia and Iona I've also been on Oceana but she's sadly no longer in the fleet but the, the, those three are all amazing for different reasons Britannia I've been on twice so my heart loves that one quite a lot because it's not too big not too small but then Arvia is arguably the biggest ship she's the sister ship to Iona but has more things so we loved Green & Co it's my favorite restaurant across the whole fleet we loved the mission control escape game so they all have pros and cons they're all fabulous and you get the same P&O experience across them all so yeah it's hard for me to pick a favorite again loved the cruise vlogs thank you and wondered if you ever plan to try another cruise line not in the immediate future because we're obviously doing our big world wedding cruise next year which I'll go on to in a minute but I never say never I obviously would like to try other cruise lines to compare and see what's out there Benji is a bit of a creature of habit so he likes what he likes he knows what he knows if he goes to a restaurant that he's been to before he literally orders the same thing on the menu <laughs> and for him he loves piano cruises and so do I but obviously yeah it's always cool to try other places and other things and experience them but for now not at the moment obviously because we already have another trip back any more disney trips planned for this year <laughs> okay guys something you should know about me is that i am always planning the next disney trip disney and disney parks and disney experiences and trips are some of our favorites that we get to do and obviously we've done walt disney world we've done disneyland paris we've got hong kong that we're going to be going to for uh, overnights so we're doing two days next year but I might be planning a little something later in the year so keep your eyes peeled for that I'll do a little announcement and share more I'm just sort of finalizing all the details and plans but yeah we're looking at something for you and us later in the year wedding stuff now okay can you share more about your wedding planning from a 2024 bride to be all right so if you haven't seen our big wedding cruise video I'm going to leave that linked below for you essentially in short if you haven't seen or you don't know we're getting married on a cruise ship next year we are flying to new zealand we're getting on board in auckland we're doing 60 days we're getting married 10 days into the trip and then we're going to be immediately on honeymoon and then one month after getting married is my 30th birthday so that's why we're like doing this whole extended thing we decided instead of spending the money on a wedding and a wedding day we'd invest it into travel it's kind of a long story how it came about so go and watch that video more details and where we're sailing to and stuff but it just made the most sense we'd fallen in love with cruising uh, so we are customers that are paid to go on this trip in february march and april next year so that is our wedding plan but then i had another question that said will you be doing a big wedding party after your cruise and the answer is yes but it won't be big it's a small low-key uh party for our friends and family we're gonna have about i say small low-key i think we're gonna have 20 people for lunch and then in the evening we're gonna invite the rest of our 
our friends to join us for a drink at a bar. So we've already got the venue, already got the date. Yeah, I'm really excited because it means that when we come home after 60 days away, we are gonna be with all our closest friends and family and still have that wedding feeling without the pressure of having a wedding day. And we're gonna have Bonnie with us because it's a dog friendly venue. So she's gonna be with us right up until like it's party time and then my mum will take her home. So there's not too much planning I have to do for that actually. Um, hopefully not because uh, I haven't done an awful lot. <laughs> What stops are you most looking forward to on your world cruise? Oh, I'm so excited about New Zealand and Australia. Uh, I've been a dream of mine for so long, so long. Singapore, I'm so excited about. And Hong Kong doing Disneyland. They are my top. There are so many stops that we are doing and we've been booking lots of shore experiences and ooh, I'm so excited. Will you be doing a hen do? No, I don't think so. I'm going to premise this by saying I could easily change my mind but my time is running out so if I do want to do something I really need to decide now but because we're doing this wedding party I'm going to have all my closest friends with me then. Just feeling like I don't really care about a hen do. I like attending others. I'm very excited about my friends. I'm going to be a bridesmaid for my friend that I'm so excited about. But for me, it's just not something that I'm bothered about. I've never had a big friendship circle. I don't have like a girl gang of friends. I have individual friends that do know each other but I have a lot of male friends as well that I would want there and honestly I just couldn't envision something. I don't have a maid of honour, I don't have bridesmaids, I don't have anybody that would organise something either. I'm sure my mum or some of my other girlfriends probably would organise something for me but I can see myself doing something small with my mum. I'd love to do like a London day with her and we've been talking about maybe doing a spa weekend or we want to go and get like massages and have like pamper sessions before I go away so I'm probably just going to do something with my mum instead. Let me know if you didn't do a hen do and if you were regret it or if you did do a Hindu and what you absolutely loved like if you want to share your stories leave them below how to effectively juggle work-life balance any things that have worked well for you over the years time blocking in my diary like being really specific on what I'm doing on what days when I'm having breaks sometimes it's even just like going to the cinema so that I'm actually switched off my phone going to my girl guiding and rainbows that's a couple of hours I'm not on my phone reading books going on long dog walks but honestly it's really hard to have a good work-life balance when your life is your job and your job is to share your life so you just have to be a bit strict on like right I'm not filming this I'm not documenting this okay we're going into some favorites so what are some of your favorite things at the moment tv skincare makeup and food tv I haven't been watching an awful lot I watch more youtube and my favorite youtuber is Sierra Schultze right now I love her and I love her vlog channel Sierra Schultze IRL which she does with her husband Stephen and their gorgeous little daughter Grace so Sierra is my favourite vlog. I watch all her videos. So if I'm not watching her, I love my friend Joel Wood. His vlogs, I watch all of them. Um, I have lots of friends that make vlogs though. So like I watch a lot of my friends because I'm a massive fan girl of all of them. But they're my favourite like go-to like comfort vlogs. TV, I really loved Partner Track on Netflix. I watched that a while ago actually, but um, I always tell people to watch it because it was so good. Uh, I also loved um, The Bold Type, if you haven't watched that. Is it still on Netflix? Do you know what? I have a feeling it's not. I don't think it's on Netflix anymore. It might have moved to Amazon, but it's very similar to Emily in Paris, like that vibe. Bridgerton, I'm obsessed with. I absolutely loved Queen Charlotte, so I'm waiting for the new season of that. The only other TV that we're actually watching right now is we're re-watching Modern Family on Disney Plus. It is one of mine and Benji's comfort TV shows that we have just enjoyed loads. Skincare favourites, I have been loving the Bondi Sands face SPF. I've been really on it with my SPF, wearing it every single day. I have a few different ones, but this has been my favourite. And then I bought these in Mallorca and Palma when we were on the cruise from Rituals. Ritual of Secura and this is the foaming shower gel and the renewing body scrub. I bought them both. The scent of these is incredible. It smells extremely luxury without spending like hundreds of pounds. Like I think it was like 20 or 30 pounds for them both maybe. But oh my gosh, incredible. And I love that this is like a foaming shower gel. It's gorgeous. I also am still using my Dermatica skincare. 
Clinique Moisture Surge is a favourite moisturiser of mine. I've got the aloe vera version, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, skincare has been like a big thing for me recently. And I think my skin is looking good. Because I've been loving skincare so much, it means that my makeup's been sitting really nicely on my face. So I've loved the Sculpted by Amy Connolly Tint and Glow Skin Enhancer. This is the second time I've bought it. Also has SPF in it. It looks like this. I love it because it feels like a tinted moisturiser. It feels quite light. This is the Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Press Powder, oil free. And I just have number one Stay Buff. And you can see I've loved this because I've hit pan on it. I don't have my brush in my hands right now, but this is amazing. It's such a good powder. I do need a top up of it, but love it. Also, Catherine asked about favourite food. I think my favourite, so this is a weird one. This is my favourite dinner at the moment. When we're not doing HelloFresh, because we have HelloFresh every Friday, and that lasts us over the weekend. But in the midweek, when we're busy, on the go, running around, Benji does this meal, which is basically salmon, rice, and then peas and sweet corn and we mix it all together <laughs> with some like Nando's Perinade sauce or like normal mayo and it's the most comfort dinner easy to make really quick it's so tasty I love it we probably have it at least once a week I thought this question was nice while we're in the favorite section what's your favorite thing that has happened this week this week I've been to the cinema twice I am obsessed with films and movies and the cinema right now so it's probably why I'm not watching a lot of tv we have unlimited cards at Cineworld so we try and go often but in July we have five movies booked so the first one we saw was Elemental last week the new Disney Pixar animation which I absolutely loved so that was my favourite thing. It was doing a date night on Saturday night at the cinema with Benj and watching a new Disney film. It brings me so much joy. New Disney film, yes. Pixar always know how to get me in all the feels. It made me cry. I absolutely sobbed, which is a weird thing to say. That was my favourite moment of the week, crying at a movie. But it was quite a nice release, you know? Like, I just sobbed at this beautiful movie. It was so good. And then we saw Mission Impossible last night, which was also really good. Complete opposite, because it was obviously action-packed, and I just loved it. So they've been my favourite moments of the week going to the cinema we also have barbie booked and oppenheim so we've got loads of other things to look forward to but yeah movies cinema what are your favorite books at the moment oh okay so if you follow me on instagram or you've watched some of my home vlogs you'll know that i was recently obsessed with lauren asher's dreamland billionaires series i found these in the works and i absolutely loved this book this is my favorite book of the year so far it's called the fine print obsessed if you're a disney fan and you like a spicy romance novel you will love it it's so good so then i read number two which was terms and conditions again i loved this too i gave the first one five stars i gave this one four stars and then this one i gave three stars i thought it was good but not as good as the others and all three stories are the same world dreamland billionaires basically three brothers that have been tasked with different things they have to do in order to achieve their cut of their granddad's inheritance and uh, shares in the company business, which is Dreamland is essentially like Disney. So they have uh, a theme park and like streaming services and stuff like that. And they all have to do different things. They're, they're all romances. Iris in number two, she's my favorite female character. And controversially, Rowan is my favorite brother. A lot of people love Cal and I do really love him and he, his story was good. But that's basically my take on this. I really loved it. I really loved Lauren's writing. Um, so yeah, this brought me so much joy. But my new book that I'm reading right now is called Happy Place by Emily Henry. I love her writing. I've read three of her other books. Book Lovers and Beach Read, I gave five stars to and I absolutely loved them. Like 20% in so far. And I, I'm really enjoying the setup, the characters and the premise. So I think I'm gonna enjoy it. But yeah, I pre-ordered this, love it. And I've got Lindsay Kelk's new book, Love Me Do. I think it's called I love her writing too so I'm excited that'll be my next read after this last question what are you most looking forward to for the rest of this year I'm most looking forward to planning the rest of our wedding and cruise trip with Benj some trips and travels and opportunities we have coming up which I haven't fully shared with you but we've got a London weekend that we're going to vlog for you very soon we are trying to do a dog friendly staycation with Bonnie but everywhere's quite expensive during the summer time so we're definitely going to do something with her I always do something 
something with her. We did Bath back in March, but maybe we'll do something in September, October, actually. I want to do like a tree house, cozy vibes, like reading a book and playing board games, you know? Like that's something I really want to do with Benjamin Bonnie. I'm mostly just, yeah, looking forward to seeing the rest of the year, how it goes. Business and work and brands I'm working with has been amazing and really proud and excited. So on that note, thank you to Casetify for sponsoring today. If you want to check them out, I will leave them below, like I said. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be back very soon with all our normal vlogs. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy catching up with me. I'd love to hear from you below if there's any favourites you've been enjoying or if you've got a Casetify case, let me know. I will see you again in my next ones. Bye!